Hi there, welcome to another episode of Fixing Swede. Today we are going to address the problem with condensation of fog in the headlights of uh, a Tesla Model S. This is on a uh, 2018. This is how we want it to look like. To start with, we are going to remove the front of the car. This is to access the headlights to uh, be able to re remove them, to, to work with them. And to do this, we will remove the three plastic covers under the hood. And then we will see the four 10 mm hex bolts that we are going to remove. Under the car, there are also four 10 mm hex bolts, and uh, it's two on the right and two on the left. Then we have uh, six plastic clips that we have to remove also to uh, be able to remove the front. And here you can see the two other hex bolts on the other side. There is also a Torx T25 screw in every wheelhouse and you will need a little extensioner to be able to reach that one with the screwdriver. After you have loosened the Torx T25, you just give it a little pull and you will be able to remove the front forward. When you lift it off, you want to angle it to the left because all the cable hardness is on the left side when you are looking at the car from the front. Then we're gonna remove the headlights. They are fitted with five pieces of 10 mm hex bolts. And what you can see here is also this plastic fitting that we need to remove to be able to get the headlight loose. And now we ha have the headlight at our desk. And uh, what we're gonna do now is to remove the lead driver and also the inspection hatch. You could use a special tool for this, or you will just use a 7mm hex. When we come to the lead driver, there is a little bit tricky to, to get this off. Uh, there are two cables that are quite short, so you won't get in with your fingers very good. What you're going to need to do is that you will push the black hook and then pry this connector off with a knife or a screwdriver. When the first connector is off, you will be able to press the white one with uh, your two fingers and get this off. Then I simply rig the hair dryer to blow hot air through the inspection hatch. It goes through the complete headlight and comes out where the uh, lead driver was installed. This will hopefully dry out the uh, complete headlight. I had this uh, blowing through the headlight for about 30 minutes for the uh, moisture to actually disappear. But after that I actually let it stay for another 45 minutes for it to completely dry out. Then it's time for reinstallation of the uh, hatch and also for the lead driver. And once again it's a little bit tricky but if you place the white connector on the plastic of the headlight you can push the lead driver down and it say click and that one is finished. The next connector you will have to try to use a tool or something because you can't get in with your fingers. I used a knife, you could use a uh, screwdriver or anything that you got in the hand. It is a little bit tricky to get it back but if you use a tool you will get it back. It's, it's not impossible, you, you just have to have some patience. Then it's time to reinstall the screws. When looking at the headlights, I found that on one of the headlights the breathing membrane was loose. And on the other headlight the gasket on the inspection, inspection hatch was not sitting properly. So I guess this is where the moisture got in to the headlights. I have read that others also had the same problems, both with the membrane and the gasket. So I guess this is quite common on this headlight. And now it's time to reinstall the headlight in the car. Wait with the electrical connection till you got the headlight in place. Then it's quite much easier to get it to fit uh, properly. When reinstalling the front, also look underneath as there are some hooks that you have to align. 
otherwise you will have to re remove the front again. I'm uh, talking uh, from experience of this. Now, this is a couple of weeks after the job was done and still no condensation showing in the headlight. So hopefully we have now solved the problem. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you. Bye-bye.